Hey guys, welcome back to episode 39 of our Tech at Light playthrough. One episode left. Next episode, we will be doing our world download. And we'll be able to have you guys download the world and pretty much have everything that I have up to this point, including the texture pack. Uh, basically, you'll just get the world file. And hopefully, this will be easier seeing how I have this just, like I said, testing on the server, seeing how it works. It seems like it's been working a lot better than it being just on my normal computer, which makes sense but today what we're gonna be doing today we're actually gonna start in on Steve's carts so let's go ahead and get started for today all right guys so I want to go ahead and say a few things before we actually get started again today and any eye is gone yet again <laughs> I'll have to get that back in just a second because I am actually going to need that to see how to make all this stuff. Anyway, so, uh, soon, uh, if not already, I will probably have a link in the description for this. If there's not a link there to this vlog that I'll be having up, uh, then just keep an eye out on the channel. You'll probably see it soon. Uh, but basically what's going on is, uh, well, more or less, I'll explain it in that video. We'll keep it to the vlog and uh, just just take a look at that for me it's a little bit serious so I mean it's not like well yeah anyway <laughs> let's go ahead and get started so I am going to have to cut out real quick to see if I can get any eye working again we'll be right back alright guys and we're back real quick got any eye working again uh, hopefully maybe you guys can help me out maybe you guys know why on this uh, server thing uh, why any eye just disappears sometimes and I can't get it back up and I actually have to disconnect and then reconnect in order for it to come back up. Maybe you guys know something, maybe it's just a bug, maybe you guys know a way to fix it. Please let me know if you guys know, I, I, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, yeah, so, thanks. Uh, but basically, let's go ahead and get started. So we want to go ahead and start with this guy, the cart assembler. We're going to need four pieces of stone, three iron ingots, and two simple PCBs, and some more iron gold and redstone so let's see what we got here um yes we're gonna need some view a little bit of you uh do i have any redstone anywhere please tell me i do yes sir there we go all right and no gold huh I don't even think I have a... Oh, there it is. Medium stone. Let's see how much we can get out of that. Well, that wasn't a whole lot, was it? And let's see. Just make sure I ain't got any more medium stones. Let's just come down here. We're going to grab some gold real fast. Stack should be fine. Let's go and put that back. Oh, by the way, now I am actually void piping our cobblestone. <laughs> sure am. Uh, right now, actually, I have a pretty cool idea. We're going to utilize Steve's carts for quite a few things, I think. Uh, I think for one thing, maybe a way of transportation back and forth between here and our factory or our production line. I think that would be a great idea. Let's see. Actually, no, that was wrong. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Is this working? No, it is not. All right. Awesome. Uh, let's see. We just need a piece of gold in the center. Just like that. And around the edges. Like this, we're actually probably going to need quite a few of these, so I'm actually going to make as many as I can, which is not that many, unfortunately. Alright, let's see, do I have stone anywhere? Stone, hello, stone! Let's grab eight of these guys. Uh, let's see, and... What else are we doing? <laughs> oh man, I just got lost. I'm on my mind just got whacked out there for a second. So I need to make an inert stone. That's how you make an inert stone. It's been a little while since I made an inert stone, so I actually need more iron anyway. <laughs> Unfortunately, wait, do I have any iron? It doesn't really matter. I'm halfway down here anyway. I'm just go ahead and grab a little bit because we'll, uh, I'll be okay. Alright, so here we go. Inert stone this time. 
and we got plenty of stone left for our cart assembler. All right, inert stone. We're gonna make our, sh our uh, minium stone. Another one. We need another one. So there we go, minium stone. And basically, there we are. More iron. Perfect. All right, now we can actually start making these guys a little bit better. Let's run down and grab some redstone. <laughs> I really need to get a little bit more better organized up here. Crap, what is up with me breaking my shins so much? Actually, I know I have some in my bag, but I want to save that for when I'm at the house over there. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And let's just make up some of these, because I'm more, like I said, more than likely I'm going to need some of these. Uh, Steve's Carts requires eh, a fair number of these simple PC, uh, PCBs. I was going to say PCBMs, I don't know why. Alright, so where are we at now? Where's our cart? Ooh, creepy sound. Okay, so we just need four pieces of stone. One, two, three, and two PCBs. Here at the bottom, and we have our cart assembler. Now, this guy can pretty much place anywhere that I darn will please. Um, <laughs> kind of running out a little bit of room here in our workshop. Uh, hmm, right there. That works. Okay, yep, I'm going to have to fix that so you guys can see. So let's come into options. Things are gonna get a little bit different. <laughs> Not that different. Uh, and well, so so. Right about in there. And uh, that's probably about right. There we go. So now we can actually kind of see this whole screen. Um, I wish they actually fixed that to where it would scale, scale properly. It doesn't look like it actually scaled properly. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now we're also gonna, yeah, everything on the side over here is a little bit smaller too. Let's see, uh, can we, is it in cart? No, it needs, we need a hole. So we're going to have to get started with a hole. And we have three holes to choose from, I think, in my version. Well, actually, four. Uh, this one just does not have a texture. Uh, this is called the Mechanical Pig. In memory of VSWE's Thunder Pig Arena victory, thanks to everyone who donated during the 2013 Minecraft Marathon. Cool. I have no clue what that's about. All right, so we got the reinforced hole, which is supposedly supposed to be the quote-unquote strongest of the all of them, and our standard hole and wooden hole. So, you know, pretty much decently expensive, you know, moderately not so much expensive and cheap as crap. So we're going to go with standard. I think that sounds about right. And we, and we can do this fairly simply. And we're going to need some wood. Particularly some sticks. So let's go ahead and make up some sticks real quick. We're not going to need that many, but uh, just a few. And then we're just going to place two iron ingots in the center. That gives us two iron wheels. Let's go ahead and pick those back. Let's split those in half, and then just basically make a little mine cart right there. And we have ourselves a standard hole. So now we can actually take this guy and put him in our cart assembler. Bam. So now we get a little 3D render of our cart here we can actually you know left click and drag and kind of look around our cart I know you can't see my mouse I apologize but there you go all right that is one part now we're gonna need a few things uh, basically I'm gonna kind of try and make a automated tree farm uh, I am going to need some wood uh, particularly for the windmills you know I think it's the we're gonna need some wooden planks and some sticks eventually so uh, we are going to have to make that. So let's go ahead and scroll the opposite way back here. We're in the back. Uh, I think there's a few things we need. Uh, primarily this guy, wood cutting core, which isn't too bad. We just need some saplings and an advanced PCB, which isn't too bad to make. So we'll just go ahead and make that real quick. Right down the center, two PCBs on the edges and four redstone in the corners we get an advanced PCB now let's uh, just go ahead and make a three of these for now because this is a another one of those things we're gonna probably wind up needing now unfortunately seeing as how we kind of got a little reset with some of our chest I don't have any I don't have any samplings, so give me just a minute, and let me go out and get us some saplings, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, and we're back. Thought about it. I was like, you know what? We do have some samplings over at the house, but, 
yeah, I think that's all right. We went ahead and just cut out a few anyway. I uh, wanted to get some uh, birch as well. So let's just surround this guy with this, and we get ourselves a wood cutting core. Now we can actually take this guy and put it in here as well. Just shift, I just shift left click it in. Oh wait, actually, no, we're not done. We, we actually need to utilize that for something else, if I'm not mistaken. Look at me trying to do all the fancy stuff ahead of time. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Where were we at? I'm not used to these textures. We do need a saw blade. So we are going to need some diamondes. Where is that recipe at? Woodcutter. There it is. That's what we need it for. Woodcutter. Alright, so we have the woodcutter core. We're going to need an iron ingot, and we're going to need five diamonds. So, what do we have on us? Do we have five diamonds? We have three in here. Let's open this guy up, and we're going to just go ahead and make us two more diamonds. Let's just put this down here. There we go. Place him there. Place you there. And there we go. So, now we can make five of these guys. All right. Now, we should place these guys like so. We've got our core right there. I believe that's right. And an iron ingot in the center. We get ourselves a woodcutter. Now we can actually put this guy inside. And I just shift left click. So now you can see a modification on our, our hole there. That's just one thing we can do. Uh, let's see. Another thing we can actually add to this guy is some solar panels. We can actually add solar panels for... Uh, we have, well, we actually have to power it. You know, we can actually use uh, a solar engine or we can use a coal engine and we can actually install both if we want to but I think I might I might actually do both yeah I might do both uh, solar panel is gonna require a little glowstone dust and I don't think I have it here unfortunately oh there it is yeah I do I lied my bad alright so this is how we're going to do that. I guess not. Got that mixed up. There we go. So I just make a few of these solar panels. I like to make a few extras. Just for the heck of it. Uh, where where are they? All right there. Basic solar engine. I think that's... Is that the right one? I know there's two. Solar engine. There it is. All right. So we got a large PCB. We're going to need two pistons. I don't even have any pistons over here. Okay, do I think yeah I do right there. Let's uh grab a few of these guys actually. Six should be fine. And where are we at? Right, 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 right. So we need a large PCB right here in the center. Two pistons on the side down here. These guys, and then two iron ingots on top, and that gives us a solar engine. Alright, let's go ahead and click that guy in there. As you see he takes up the center slot there. Cool. All right, and another thing I want to make is a coal engine. So I am going to need some cobblestone. Now, if I have, yep, there's some. I need to make me a quick little furnace. And you place him right there. Two pistons on the side. I just kind of know this one. I've uh, used this one quite a bit, actually. There we go. This makes us a coal engine. This guy will accept coal, wood, and all that good fancy stuff. And I just shift click that guy in there. Now we also have a coal engine. You see it right there in the back. Uh, so far, if you look on the right side, we actually have you know some some information more or less. Whole capacity is 200. I believe that is for the cart. Uh, complexity cap. You know, total cost. I've never made a cart that has actually exceeded any of that. I think. Uh, total time to actually make the guy is going to take us about 15 minutes so far, yeah, which isn't too bad. But uh, you know, there is a few more things I think I would like to add to this guy. Uh, number one, I'd like to add a fertilizer. If I can find it, there's a hydrator. Don't think I need that for this particular use. Where's it? Well, let's just type it in. There it is. That's what it looks like. Fertilizer. <laughs> Doesn't even look like it's supposed to look like. All right, so we're going to need uh, some bone meal, which either I'm blind or I... Oh, well, I got some bones. That'll work. I got some bones. And we need some leather. Oh, perfect. There's the leather. 
Just not used to this texture pack, guys. I've actually been playing on Sortex a little bit lately. Well, actually, for this mod, I've actually been playing on Sortex, so... Uh, do I have any glass? I do. There we go. We'll just make up some bottles real quick. And we're good to go. So let's go ahead and do that. Glass bottles on the side there. We need a small PCB right there. Let's uh, get some bone meal. And these two go on the top right there like so. And that gives us a fertilizer. So let's go ahead and throw that guy on there. There we go. We're good to go there. Alright, let's go back to NEI. Again, don't worry guys, we're, we're going to be getting to some good stuff here in just a minute. Just, like I said, I'm running through this uh, real fast. Uh, let's see, probably would need some storage. So, let's do some internal storage. And to make that, we're going to need some of these chest panes. And luckily enough, we just went out and got us some wood. So this is how we're going to make that. So I'm going to place a few of those guys there, half these guys up, and this gives us gives us chest pains <laughs> well not not those kind of chest pains but you know what I mean these chest pains and I'm just gonna make up everything I can for now I'm gonna use this extra set of stone right here place that that gives us a chest lock you place that guy in the center surround him with these chest pains and we get internal storage units I went ahead and made eight and I'm actually just gonna put one in there because it actually extends we can actually put four in there but if you look, it actually adds five minutes just about for each storage unit. And I don't want to sit here and wait that long, even off camera. So I'm just going to use uh, one storage for now. I think that'll be fine. Let's see. So what all do we have? We have a fertilizer. We have our wood cutter. That's going to cut the wood, place it down. Fertilizer that's going to you know make the trees grow faster sometimes. And you got engines and internal storage. I think we're pretty much set to go on that. Now what we just need is a little bit of coal to power this guy. So we're just going to right click. I'm going to shift click the coal in there. It goes right there on the side. As you can see it uses a little bit of coal. And we'll just click a symbol. Now this guy is going to start making. And while he makes up we're actually going to make a few other things real fast. Before we take a little break. Alright so we're also going to want a... Where is that? What is that called? I think it's called a cargo manager. Yeah, this guy. Cargo manager. Now we're going to need these huge iron panes. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. And we're going to basically use these guys to make some of those now. Uh, stupid zombies. Just don't know when to quit. They really don't. They just don't know when to give up. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Eh, well. You win some, you lose some. Uh, cargo manager. Now we're going to need. Let's see, that one's for that one, that one's for that one. And. Alright, I gotcha. So we're going to need for you. Just like that. We're going to need this guy. Now we're also going to need four of these guys. Then we'll expand this out. Like that. And we're going to need four of those guys. Should click all that back and we'll just spread this around like so place this in the center and this is going to give us our cargo manager now there's one more thing we'll need we're gonna need this advanced detector rail which isn't too bad to make at all and it gives you two some iron ingots some redstone and pressure plates now I probably am going to need some more stone so let's go ahead and do this real quick that should work for us real fast. That's handy. That's why I leave that there. All right, and let's see, iron. I need to change this back real quick. So I do need that. Thank you very much. Place this guy on the sides like so. One redstone in the center. This guy is just about done, so we can make some pressure plates. Do 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 do. Oh come on! You gotta be kidding me. This world likes to rain a lot. All right, guys, we're almost done. <laughs> we actually are for uh, this. So there, there we go. Advanced detector rail. All right, so we got all this taken care of. We got our advanced detector rail, our cargo manager, our carts going. And we got about 17 minutes left on this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out. And we'll be back once this guy's done. And we'll go get it set up and get it running. All right, guys, and we're back. Our cart's done. 
Right, we got our modular cart here. I'm gonna grab that. Uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit of extra coal. Uh, also made of uh, some rails off camera, just some regular tracks. These are just made the normal default Minecraft way. Also grabbed us a barrel, extra dimensional storage uh, for our barrel here. Uh, made up some more bone meal. Uh, got us a wooden transport pipe, void pipe, diamond transport pipe, some golden transport pipes, and I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and head on over. Yes, yes, I know. I'm on fire. <laughs> I am that good. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys my house since uh, last episode. Uh, or the uh, the modifications that I made, which is, I have a sofa. <laughs> I have a sofa and an end table, or a living room table. What do you want to call it? Uh, yeah, so, looks nice. I like the way it looks. It's even got nice, comfy uh, wool. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so let's go ahead and head on out here. So... Do a little clean up real quick. There we go. Oh, little, little lag. Yeah, well, yeah, you get those, those nice little splats every once and again. All right, so I'm thinking putting this guy, you know, somewhere, anywhere on, ooh, hello. Thank you, friend. Basically, anywhere over here. Uh, let's see, might need to leave that open. I think this might be a good spot right over here. So let's just go ahead and clean some grass up out of the way real quick. Get out of my lawn. I don't need you here no more. All right, that should be good. Now let's go ahead and place some rail. And I'm going to place this rail kind of in just a square more or less. You guys will see. And I'll probably make this fairly large. Oh, man, actually, maybe not. Large enough, though. Let's just say that. Let's see. It's gonna be, like, perfectly square. This is the way I want it. I, I want to do it. Uh, granted, you could probably do it a different way. You could probably make... It, you could probably actually make it a straight line. You know, back and forth. And, you know, make it to where you would wind up turning around and whatnot. Actually, you could probably do that and put a cargo manager at the end of uh, the track on both sides and have him just turn around uh, once he gets to like this side. Oh, basically drop off whatever he got and then the cargo manager will tell him to turn around and go the opposite way and then he'll, you know, pick up all the trees, make his way up to the other cargo manager where he basically say the same thing. And I think that would work, but uh, for this, I'm just going to do it this way. So I'm going to go ahead and place down our advanced detector rail right there. I'm going to place our cargo manager right here. Da, da, da. And it looks like it's on a blue side because that's blue, got green, red. So if we right click on this guy, you can see we got a new little interface. And we got blue, so we want it to transfer from the cart to this inventory. Uh, now, we can also transfer items into the car, but we don't really need to do that, and I'll show you why. So, let's go ahead and plop this guy down, right there like so. You can see the solar panels deploying. This is going to give him some power. And he's he's ready to get going, but he, well, <laughs> had to store up a little bit of internal power. Right now, he actually can't do much. It looks like... Yeah, <laughs> he really can't do much because we don't have any uh, saplings in them and we don't have any fertilizer. So let's go ahead and place some saplings in them. So you see he's going to be planting saplings for us. Now he's going to get to a point now if he does grow some of these trees, the leaves might obstruct his solar panels and that's why I do have the coal engine in there. And the cool thing is, is that he will actually take some of the... Uh, the sampling, or the, not samplings, but the wood that he actually harvests, and he'll put it in his coal engine, and it'll actually work in there, so we can use that as a reserve. Uh, I think we're actually good to go, so let's actually go ahead and grow a few of these trees. We'll show you guys what this guy does. You see the solar panels retracting there. Uh, he's got some stored power so far, but hopefully, you see he's clearing out the leaves. That's going to give him some more samplings. And you see, put some birch wood in here. He's got an in, our internal storage there. 
putting it in the internal chest right there. Uh, we also got fertilizing, which we can uh, do here in just a minute. He's going ahead and replanting his saplings. And what he's going to do is he has some birch in his inventory, and he's just going to drop that off here. Right there in the chest, just like that. Now, we can actually extract from this, and that's what we're going to do in just a minute, I think. Do I have any on-target gates on me? Thought I made some extras up somewhere. Oops, excuse me, guy. Oh, there we go. On target gate. I'm gonna use that here in just a second. All right. So he's gonna do his thing. I'm actually gonna help him along. We're gonna throw some extra trees up so we can get some more saplings planted for us. I'm gonna get underneath this guy. Actually, let's let's actually go in the middle. Actually, I like that idea. A lot better. Okay, I don't want to take that one out. So we're just going to come into the middle here. This should be about the middle. Actually, that is perfectly the middle. <laughs> Good job, Bentley. Good show, chop. Alright, so we close that off. And what I'm going to do is we're going to place down our barrel here. Oops. Uh, get our extra dimension storage. Shift, right click. There we go. That's taken care of. Go ahead and grab our birch wood, place it in there, so you can see we're going to have our birch wood in there. Now, I don't know if we're going to have enough piping. Hmm. We might, we might not. We'll see. Alright, so we're going to put our wooden transport pipe out of there, place our on target gate right on top. Let's change this to. There we go. It's going to pump out for us. It's already pumping out. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. We should have enough. Now, yeah, it's, it's impatient. What can I say? All right. Now, we are going to need to replace that one. Put our diamond pipe there. Let's take our void pipe and we'll place it there. Where's our where's our friend? Oh, wow. Look at you go. Right, you don't have any... I don't know. I'm going to borrow this one. Good lord, he's just throwing it everywhere, isn't he? Actually, that was uh, the pipes down here. All right, so we're going to make the blue void pipe. So basically, when he he gets too many saplings, and he will eventually, uh, what's going to happen is he's going to start putting it in, in uh, the cargo manager. It's going to suck it up, and it's going to try and throw it out on the ground. Instead of doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. Uh, he'll have more than enough for everything else. So let's go ahead and take this up. And I'll find a nice little building for this probably later on. But for now, I think this will work. That should work just like that. So let's see if this actually works the way we want it to. So he just dropped off a... Or he's supposed to drop off a load. And let's uh, do this. Let's give him some wood to, to chop up. Give him something to do real quick. So it's a, it's a Steve's carts. I mean, I, I, at first I thought it was a little complicated, uh, but then I started fiddling around with it on uh, the Mind Crack server that I was, I've actually been playing on, and uh, I was like, you know what? This is actually pretty neat. You know, you, you can do a lot with Steve's carts, and I think I'm going to wind up using it for quite a few things in the future. Let's watch him finish this up. Um, thinking about even making one that uh, will drill us our pathway from our train station here back to our little work area over there and then we'll have our uh, little quote unquote vehicle to uh, take us along the ride we can even make it go different way which ways so you can see him replanting all this extra little saplings he gets he's like I said he's eventually gonna wind up getting more than what he needs and he will try to put it in the cargo manager here so here we go so he's gonna place it in there there it is. You can see the birch wood leaving. And that's going to go from 11 to 12 to 13, 14, 15. And, well, you guys know how to count. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Now, let's go ahead and place some bone meal in here. And this is actually going to allow him to fertilize the trees a little bit more. They're actually going to grow a little bit faster uh, this way. And, whoa. Holy crap, what... Uh, what? 
Hey, buddy. Oh, did I put that in the wrong slot? I might have. Well, luckily for me, the boy did void pipe it. Um, that's why we put that diamond pipe down there. All right, well, this is interesting. This is actually a party. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Uh, apparently, a little bit actually made its way in there. Let's try that again. There we go. So now he's got plenty. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We're going to be doing some, some pretty neat stuff with Steve's carts here. Uh, we also have uh, quite a few things we need to do before we actually start laying down the foundations for our, our factory and our production line. We need to get some things started. You know, This is primarily one of them for automation. Another thing is we're going to need to get our farm ready. We're actually going to have to get our automated flax farm ready. So we'll be doing that probably soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys have any tips, tricks, or comments you guys would like to leave me down in the comment section, I always enjoy reading those. Uh, if you guys would also rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate that. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Oh, goodbye.